Okay, so let's just go in the door here and flip on the light. All right, so when we first enter, if it will focus, there we go, we see what used to be my vanity. And I haven't decided what I'm gonna do here yet. Right now, it is a makeshift medical station. <laughs> uh, my doctor has recently decided I need to be on a blood pressure medicine. <laughs> and um, I don't agree. I mean, well, I'm not sure. I was on one and it was causing me to bottom out. So I've been basically taking my blood pressure here with this and manually both and logging it throughout the day and stuff to see do I really need to be on one or not. So right now this is what's going on with what used to be my vanity. And, um, but it's pretty much cleared out. There's still some sample things and stuff in this drawer. As you can see when you look around the room, I've put white sheer curtains on trying to get as much light in here as possible because I don't have enough room to set up my umbrella lighting set, which of course, I am a professional photographer. I do have lights in there and tripods and obviously this, this right here is an actual camera, okay, which I take product shots and stuff with. Um, my history as a photographer goes back to the 80s. So um, I know a, a little bit about what I'm doing as far as angles and sets and stuff like that go. So um, anyway, the, so over here, this is where you never get to see this side. Okay, so over here, uh, you get to, you got to see this a little bit from this perspective when I would shoot at the vanity, um, which of course, um, the mirror was there. So, you know, you have to put the tripod at a certain angle in order to get me and not the mirror. Uh, but yeah, we're not going into the closet because there's a huge nail polish collection, lights, b uh, green screens, and stuff that I use when I'm doing portraitures and uh, product shots and stuff like that for people. Um, and behind the door right now is, you remember her, right? Well, she's back there hiding. She was a bad girl, bad girl, bad girl. She got put in the corner. No, um, with a, a couple of new additions that I've brought in, I don't have room for this without, I'll explain that in a minute, but for right now, I don't know what to do with her. So she's back there in the corner. There's candy in here. This is my cameras, my batteries, my SD cards, the case this camera goes in. Um, picture of me and my sissy, along with that willow, uh, my mom and dad, and an antique, the, this got broke. Why am I giving you a room tour? He, I'm supposed to be showing you how I film. A candle at the bottom and a rock my daughter painted, which is really cool. And uh, pictures, willows, all over here. Okay, so, um, you know, but since we're here, I mean, we might as well talk about because part of this is the set, right? So this is what you see behind me. I mean, obviously, if anyone comes in the room, they're like, why is that Marilyn picture? <laughs> position there. It's, as you know, part of my set. And yeah, let's be real. Okay. I mean, I do other things in here. Right now I'm charging a headset and a calorie counter device so I can take a walk later and know how many calories I burned. <laughs> and I'll corner my purse is down there. Um, this is a shelf that sits up so high you can't see it in my videos. And it has pictures of my son. It has various things you know, like that phone I use sometimes, the red nose, the tiara, different props I use sometimes in videos. Um, over here in the corner, this is a safe, fireproof safe. Every home should have one. Um, an overflow black bag, blah, 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 blah. An overflow bag of makeup. Um, a stand that holds this lovely and treasured I don't know what you call it. There's a candle in there. Colleen, Miss Cavalier 50 or 51. Miss Cavalier 01 gave that to me. I won it in a giveaway. Um, and so I always try to make sure you can see that in my videos. Uh, pictures of my family up here. And then this is this part of the set that you see um, while I'm filming to the right of me, you know, flowers 
Sephora bags, a long comb bag, you, or a long comb thing. This has, all these things have things in them. I mean, this has my uh, Benjabel and my brush cleaning stuff. It's a long comb box. Uh, you know, there's nothing in that. I lied. And this is um, all kinds of false eyelash stuff in case I ever decide I want to wear false eyelashes. You know, the occasion could come up. Uh, me and Mr. Shy Guy. The flowers that used to sit up here. A plant that's fake as all get out. Um, a Scentsy Burner thing. These boxes contain overflow makeup. Um, this was sent to me by Mandy Jo. And I love it so much. And it has samples in it. And then, of course, my brush caddy. Um, I like to try and keep things more uh, minimal, I guess. Um, it depends on who you ask. Uh, to a lot of the people who have channels, this is hardly anything at all. To uh, my family, this is, what do you need all them brushes for? So it depends on who you are. Um, a product that I was sent and am trying out to review. Um, makeup that I kind of like and uh, use a lot is in those acrylic things. The makeup mirror, my Zadro makeup mirror. Ooh, love it. Um, Kleenexes. My uh, Zadro, is it, what, who makes this? Zara, Zara Beauty. My Zara Beauty lipstick caddy. Uh, which I need to oh, not knock over water with. Um, you know, I've got some, I keep my glosses on the top. Uh, then I got another little swivel thing over here, and it is um, dirty brushes and sponges, clean sponges uh, in there. Usually my ice cup sits there. A <laughs> yummy cup of coffee, want some? Um, the product I just did a video on. Uh, okay, uh, I guess since we're doing it, this is the top drawer which contains my foundations I am currently using, the primers I am currently using, junk that I need to go through, you know, surgical scissors, uh, you know, you know, stuff you don't know what to do with otherwise. More foundation, uh, setting sprays, Fix Plus, moisturizer, this is by Timeless. Don't confuse this with your lens cleaner. <laughs> they kind of look the same. Oh, a cute little professional that goes in there. Poor fashion. Second drawer contains my blushes that I'm using, um, powders and highlighters that I'm using, um, various things that aren't where they're supposed to be. <laughs> I know, it's a mess. This bronzer doesn't go here. I'm trying to use up that Rocketeur. And, the, oh, this is the really, really bad drawer. I'm so sorry. Um, puggy wipes. And I a bunch of palettes I just thrown around. Um, yeah, we're not going through. We're not doing that. A box of makeup I'm sending to someone. The trash can you see me throwing trash in when I'm not hitting the wall with it for empties. And then we come to this, how I film. Okay, so here you go. Somebody asked me, Mary, why don't we see the ring light in your eyes? Because there's no ring light. I film using iMovie, okay? I do not have the room in here to be setting up a tripod and a camera so and my lights and and everything and you know so this is how i film now these monitors are 27 inches a piece so when you set the backgrounds to white you kind of got almost all the light you need so like here's a video that i just filmed uh, but let's say I was going to add some more to it. I would just click this, open it up. I have two monitors, so you see me on this monitor right here um, filming. But um, I film on the other monitor. See? There I am. I film on this monitor. And so now you see the set behind me. And, of course, you can also see what? 
nothing sticking out of the back of my head, which is what I really want to go for. So that's why the dress form's not back over here, is because with the new stuff in the set, um, there's no real place for her to be without her sticking out of the top of my head behind me. So, I mean, I have carefully placed everything that I have back here so that there's a hole. There's a hole in the bucket, dear Liza, dear Liza. I've put a hole right there because that's where my head is going to go. And then I've got stuff to the left of me and to the right of me. What was that? Obnoxiously big picture of my son. <laughs> all right. So, uh, all right. But it's, you know, even with the daylight and the curtains coming in and the overhead light and these two big screens in front of me with white light coming at me, look, I'm still kind of shadowed. So, there's three other things, I, three other lights I have. Light one. This is a $9 lamp from Walmart. Its sister is on the other side. It ha it's housing a daylight bulb. So let's have a look at it. See? This is a daylight bulb. When I film, I pull it right here beside me. So now that is on my right. And let me move my coffee so that we don't have a catastrophe go on here. This desk light shines up against this wall which is what we call in photography bouncing light. So this light hits the wall and bounces back toward me. All right, now let's grab the sister light to the other one and I'm gonna pull it right beside me, okay? So now, now I have one of these on each side. All right. Now watch what happens when I actually turn them on. So I bring this one, I turn it on, it lights up this side of me. Turn on the other one, and it lights up this side of me. And now I have all the light that I need to film. Except, I'm not really, I mean I'm being cut off to the point where you can't see my necklace. And the lighting will get just a little better if I tip the screen down just a little bit. Not too much. And as you can see right there, that's my camera. So, there we go. Here it is dead straight on. Here it is tipped just a little bit. Um, and, you know, so there you go. I guess we could stick it up on... 15 stands and so we're shooting down on myself which you know while we're talking about that subject you do not want to ever shoot up your nose um, and unless you just really like that look dead on isn't such a good idea um, you want the camera to be tipped just a tiny bit okay now you can see my necklace, which isn't straight. You can see my necklace. You can see part of the clothes that I have on. And you can, and it brings in just a tad bit more light like that. Okay? So, and it's not so high that, you know, it looks distorted. I've worked extremely hard to make sure that you have a pleasant and, um, a um, appropriate background for what my channel is. I mean, if my channel was about cooking, then, <laughs> then I would have won all of this. I would be in a kitchen, right? I need to pay attention to what's going on with this camera right here instead of what I'm looking at here. Anyway, so then when I'm ready to film, I would just hit this record button. And what I love about filming that way is this HD camera is very good. But unlike the camera I'm holding, it's not the autofocus isn't going to go in and out, in and out. So I like that to me. That is more important than using an H this camera here to film with, okay? If I even have the room. I like that nothing ever goes out of focus in my videos. I like that my set is the way that it is. 
Um, I think I'm lit appropriately so that I don't, that's why you don't see a ring light in my eyes is because there is no ring light. Okay. And there's also very little glare this way. So that's how I film. That's why I film the way I do. And you know, I hope you like it. I think you like my videos. Uh, Since you asked, this is what I do. This works out really good for me. And, uh, so that's it. So. I hope that you're having a blessed day. And if you're not, then go out. Go out and be a blessing to somebody else. <laughs> and until next time, love you. See ya. Bye.